Hi guys, uh, this is a follow-up video um, due to a number of questions I've been getting about the uh, the Fiotech G3. Um, I've now got the Phantom mount. Um, I understand since my last video on how to connect everything to the NASA that Fiotech have changed the wiring and confused everyone. Um, I've taken a look at this. I didn't actually have the wire available, so what I've done is I've actually created my own. Um, basically, uh, if I can get this in short enough, uh, what it used to be is you used to have a single wire, which I've actually got here, which was just this one here, there we go, uh, which is black and white, and that's all you had to connect to your NASA. What they then did is they created something that looks very similar to this, which has got black, red, and white, um, and that terminates in servo cables. Uh, that went and confused everyone um, and I've been having a lot of people saying that they're having problems with it. Uh, basically what I've managed to do is I've recreated this wire um, so at the end of this wire, this is going to my Phantom, um, what we've got is we've got the single servo cable with the black and red as it will be on yours that goes into the NASA into the F2 port there. Black is on the top, uh, it's yellow on mine, but it will be black on the top for you and red on the bottom. You'll also have a separate cable, which is represented by this one. Uh, this will actually be a two-pin servo wire on yours. Um, basically, what I've done is I've attached it to the F2 port. I've left the what is the white cable out completely. Don't worry about that. Um, and then I've gone into the, uh, the NASA settings. And these are my NASA settings. So what I've done is I've centered zero, I've got max on the F2 port 1000, and I've got min 700. Now, the functionality of the G3 with the most recent f um, firmware has changed slightly. So what I've done is that I have my, um, my F2 is connected to my um, Futaba. This will be the equivalent of your, um, of, of your Phantom um, rear channel. So now what happens is that if you ever so slightly angle it, it will start moving and it will move all the way unless you stop it down into its furthest extents. So likewise, again, I'll just move that ever so slightly back and you'll see that it now will keep going until you stop it. So you can stop it, you just have to control it very, very carefully. Now I believe they've responded to people's complaints over the fact that it was a very jerky um, pitch on the uh, on the G3 in the last firmware. So basically this does give you a nice ability to do a really slow glide and stop or come back and stop or do nice and quick all the way down to the bottom or just yank it all the way back and I can stop it wherever I like but the point is I can also do a nice and fast but then I can slow it down and stop it so I think that's what they've done um, the other wire that they've got on here this white cable I believe what this is supposed to do um, and I'm yet to test it out but I believe that this wire will go into your F2 port uh, sorry your F1 port um, and that will actually give you the ability of controlling the roll um, all you've got to do, of course, um, is you've got to be able to actually set the F2 port to a channel, and that's kind of the problem.